Another popular topic, many, many people have sent in this question on email and Twitter. I'll read one of them. This is from Twitter using the hashtag corny drive through from almost a pair. Recently, Earl Hebner was quoted as saying that 23 years later, he thinks the Montreal screw job was a work, <laughs> stating that he believes he was only there to call for the bell. As one of the three main men who were involved backstage at the time, what are your thoughts? I love Earl Hebner. I, I, and I, I like his son and his brother, and I've known them forever, and I don't know what may have formed all of Earl's opinions, although he's taken a lot of shit for a long time over that. But no, it wasn't a work. Everybody knows it wasn't a work. There's no possibility it was a work. If, they, if, it, if it had been a work, it wouldn't have worked out that good because nothing ever lines up that perfectly if you try. But no, we've had enough. It's uh, anybody in the business now that says at this point that it's a work is either, and I can understand for Earl being confused by the whole thing and his unique position, but anybody just on the outside looking in that, that thinks that it was a work at this point is either just trying to get attention or is just a blithering simpleton. Okay, well, that sums that up. I don't know what else to say at this point. I mean, people are acting like there's still shit that's out there to be revealed and debated and, and whose side is right and whose is wrong. No, there's not any debate in this. And, and the pretty much between the uh, 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 contemporaneous reporting in the observer and what I've told on my podcast, you got the goddamn story. And there ain't no more to that story. Are you surprised that Earl Hebner all these years later would say that he thinks it's a work now? I don't know. Maybe Earl's working. Maybe Earl will get more interviews that way. I don't know. Or maybe he, maybe he's just mind fucked himself from a th dwelling on it all these years to how the fuck at first he thought that he was doing right. Then he thought he was doing wrong. Then he felt shame. Then he was embarrassed. Then he, he started enjoying it and fucking, you know, making a gimmick out of it. I screwed Brett and all that stuff, that might mess somebody up. I know exactly what happened, and, and uh, apart from, as I've said, apart from indirectly me being responsible for the fucking total ending of kayfabe in general with this whole goddamn fiasco, um, no, there ain't nothing else out there that ain't come out that needs to come out. When was the first time you heard someone claim that they thought it was a work? Um, oh God, I mean, a few people at the time were like, oh, it has to be that they're, they're in on it. And even some of the boys back then, because the boys, if that's one thing that the dark side of the ring and some of these shoot interviews have done, it's illustrating to fans that just because sometimes guys have been in the business for 30 years, doesn't mean they ever knew how it worked. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you can tell that you can tell that sometimes. Um, and it, so, and, and it was always natural for the boys to mistrust the office or the promoter. And because all of that stuff happened in the way that it happened and the documentary crew being there and then everybody ended up making money except the only, and Brett made money. They just botched his entire career. WCW got the hottest wrestler in the world. Vince got out from under the contract. Vince became Mr. McMahon and soon had a new fucking top star that was making even more money. Everything happened good, but it wasn't that way at the time, and nobody was planning for it to be that way, and you couldn't have planned for that because it, you couldn't have planned it. it and it's, it's just... It, so it just gets ridiculous. But then I, you also have people that have muddied the water that had no fucking knowledge of anything or, or have tried to fucking do their own, but you know, shit stain's going to tell you that he was all over it. Um, fucking, you know, DX is going to say that they did this and that and the other thing and who was in on it and blah, blah, blah. And poor Scott Hall still said that it was a work on dark side of the ring, just because they had to have somebody say that because, you know, but it made him look really No, they bad. didn't. <laughs> they did well, not they have did. to have they, someone say that. They didn't have there. to have somebody say that, but, the, you know, to, to present all sides. Uh, you know, well, there is a, a, a segment that believes the earth is flat, but we don't let them out in public when grown folks are talking. But anyway, yeah, no, there's, there's nothing else that's going to be revealed about that whole thing. 